Hi children, welcome to Lakshmi Study Room. Today I am going to discuss with the lesson Nature of Substances. This is the part 2 video in this lesson. So now let us move on to our lesson. Okay, the first one is Acid Base Indicators. Acid Base Indicators. So is it possible to test all the acids and bases simply by tasting or touching them? In the previous video, what we have learnt, acids have a sour taste and base have a bitter taste and bases are soapy in touch. But is it possible to test all the acids and bases simply by tasting or touching them? No, it's not impossible. For example, some acids like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid and bases like sodium hydroxide Potassium hydroxide very harmful and very strong. So we cannot test them by touch or taste. So what will happen if we touch the, these substances directly? They may do harm to us. That means they may uh, cause some injuries to our own skin. In such cases, how can we test them whether they are acids or bases? Substances which are used to test Acid or bases are called acid base indicators. So, the, what are acid base indicators? The answer for this question is substances which are used to test acids or bases are called acid base indicators. So, let us find some indicators. See, types of the indicators. What are the different types of indicators? There are many types of indicators. Some of them are natural indicators. That means these indicators are occur naturally. That means these indicators prepared from the natural ones. And synthetic indicators. So these indicators are prepared artificially. And olfactory indicators. What are olfactory indicators? Olfactory means smell, smell receptors. Substances which change their smell when we mix with the acid or base are known as a olfactory indicators. Next, universal indicator. Universal indicator means it is a mixture of or different indicators. So it shows different colors in different substances. So these let us learn about each and every one detail in this video. So first one, what are the natural indicators? Indicators obtained from the natural sources. So that means the indicators obtained from the natural sources are called as a natural indicators. Examples for natural indicators are litmus, turmeric, hibiscus and red cabbage. So the most commonly used natural indicator is a litmus. So generally we are using in laboratory the litmus papers. It is, in, it is available in two, uh, two colors that is red and blue. So it is extracted from the petals of the lichen. See this video, this is a lichen. Sir. So it will be extracted from these lichens. Next, turmeric indicator. Turmeric indicator means pasupu. Turmeric means pasupu. So take a tablespoon of turmeric powder in a plate, add little water and make it into a paste. Take a white paper and apply the paste over it on both sides. Let it dry. After drying, cut the paper into strips like this uh, paper will be cut into small strips like this only. So these strips will be now turmeric paper strips are ready for use as a indicator. So what is the color of this? stripes turmeric always in yellow color so when we apply turmeric on the paper this strip should be in a yellow in color so testing the testing with turmeric indicator take a soap solution in a plate and dip one turmeric strip in the soap solution and take it out and observe the color of the strip how it will be changed the strip of the turmeric sheet in Generally, yellow color. Now, when we keep the turmeric strip in soap solution, 
it will be turn into a reddish brown color and lime solution lime means sunnam so lime solution when we keep the turmeric strip in lime solution it will also changes into reddish brown color then again take another turmeric strip and keep it in a lemon juice but it won't change any color it remains as a yellow color only so no change that means turmeric strip can give reddish brown color with the base solution but acids it cannot change it cannot change in the acid solutions but can we use turmeric paste to test acids and bases yes we can use turmeric paste paste to test acid and bases next hibiscus indicator hibiscus means mandara so can we use any flower as an indicator yes we can use hibiscus flower as an indicator we also use indigo fera tinctora tinctoria we can call it as a locally neeli chettu flowers as an indicator let us prepare hibiscus indicator let us prepare hibiscus indicator see take some hibiscus we can call it as a china rose or mandara petals take warm water into a beaker and place the petals in a beaker you may use paste of petals also in this experiment keep it until the water has completely turned into violet color filter the solution with a strainer now hibiscus indicator is ready to test test with indicator take a lemon juice soda water lime water glucose solution sugar solution soap water etc the first one is which will be filled with lemon juice and second one will be filled with soda water and third one will be filled with lime water so all these test tubes should be placed in a stand so now test one by one so add sufficient amount of hibiscus indicator to each test tube first the test tube containing lemon juice and add drops of hibiscus indicator to this solution then what do you observe what do you observe you will observe whenever we add hibiscus indicator to lemon juice it will be turn into pink color then second test tube what it contains it contains soda water so whenever we add hibiscus uh, indicator to soda water the soda water will change into pink color because soda water contain no acid only so lime water so lime water will be changes into green color and glucose solution so glucose is a neutral solution it is a salt so it is not a acid or it is not a base so that's why it do not change any color it remains constant only no no change no change in this color and sugar solution also so no changes its the color next soap water with the soap water the whenever we add hibiscus indicator to soap water it will be turn into green color so finally what we concluded that lemon juice and soda water turns into pink soap and lime solutions turns on green green and adding hibiscus indicator in acids and bases the hibiscus indicator changes its color hence it can be used as a acid base indicator thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon